Hey guys, so today we're going to review Chrome Frets. Now what is Chrome Frets? Chrome Frets is a string cleaner, a fretboard polisher, and it also hydrates your actual fretboard. So if you've got a rosewood or ebony fretboard, it will hydrate and rejuvenate the wood. If you have a maple fretboard, it won't really work because most maple fretboards are sealed. Uh, so that means they're sealed with lacquer. Um, but if you have a fretboard that isn't sealed, um, this product will work. Otherwise, it's great for cleaning strings and polishing your frets. So what it's basically made up of is this little formula in a spray bottle here. And it comes with this in the packet. And it comes with this little applicator. And this applicator is pretty important. It's got this like sort of leather chamois material on one side and a really soft microfiber cloth on the other side. And it's in a sponge, so it's nice and soft. So you get this in the packet. comes in this nice packet here. And they've nicely included some picks on the back, which is always cool. You can never have enough picks. And um, it's actually relockable, resealable. You also get this cloth here, which is kind of an abrasive material. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there. It's, it's kind of rough, but what this is for, this is for cleaning your actual fretboard, cleaning your frets and um, getting underneath your strings is what this is for. Like if you really want to get all the grime off your strings and have them play, play nice and sound good again. Uh, you, need, you need something that's a little bit abrasive, so it's nice that they include this in the, in the packet there. And you also get a little instruction manual that um, tells you how to use the product. So the basic thing of what you would do with this, let me grab a guitar. This is a guitar I'm gonna test the product on. This is my Ibanez RGT, and I haven't changed these strings in maybe two months, two or three months. Um, they're kind of turning a little bit black, and the frets are disgusting. I've got a bit of grime on them, and they're um, they're not chrome anymore. That's for sure. Uh, they're kind of a yellowish tinge to the um, frets, and the fretboard's a little bit dry. I haven't rejuvenated the fretboard in about a year or a year and a half. And where I live, it's kind of dry here in Australia, so you know you've got to keep on top of that and make sure the wood doesn't crack and um, it's nice and healthy. Now, the basic application of this product here is that you would take this and you'll take the, it's called Teflo wax, this here. Now what you would do is you would shake up the bottle, it says on the bottle to shake well, and then you're gonna spray it on this leather side. You spray it on there, get it nice and wet, probably seven or eight sprays. And then what you would do is you would take your guitar and you'd rub it up and down, up and down there, probably for a minute or so, if you've got a really, really dirty strings like me, or you can just do a couple of really light sort of wipes right up and down the full length of your strings. Then once you do that, you'll notice that this will get a little bit dirty. And then on the back with this microfiber, you would do it again. You would go up and down the strings. You now go up and down, just light, pushing lightly. And what that's going to do, that's going to take off the excess Teflo wax. And then your strings will be nice and shiny and play a lot better. So, you know, what it will really do is, is prolong the life of your strings, which means you'll save your money. Now, another thing it can do as well, if you just want to get to your strings and um, you just want to do a quick sort of clean of them, you know, you're at a gig and you just want your strings to be nice and smooth, on the top of this, you can see that there. It's got a little sort of felt applicator there. And what you would do is you can put one spray onto that felt, and then you can go up and down each individual string. And that'll just make your strings glide and smooth, sort of be really smooth. And you won't get that sort of string noise, that high pitched squealy string noise that you normally get when you're changing. No, it'll just make them nice and smooth. So that's another thing it can do. Now with the cloth that they give you, what you can do with that is put some on there, and use your index finger, and sort of pull apart your strings and go up and down and then around your frets and fretboard. And that, that will clean the frets and clean the fretboard. So I'll polish up the frets and rejuvenate your fretboard. So that's what this product will do, but we're gonna test that out. That's right, we're gonna put this to the test and find out if it works. This guitar is disgusting and I'm gonna see if this thing works. So um, let's cut to that clip and see how we go.
Okay, we're back. So I cut that short. I really didn't think you guys wanted to see me uh, cleaning my fretboard, riveting stuff, hey? Which someone cleaned their fretboard. So anyway, um, where'd that applicator go? Here it is. So this is what happened with it. Now, like, like all polishes, it's going to go black, but then you use that side to take it off. And if you wanted to clean your uh, fretboard as well, which is what I did, you would just spray it on this side quite heavily and then push really hard, go up and down the neck, and uh, that would clean the fretboard as well, which is what I did. I also went away and um, got this, and I actually, even though they don't tell you to, I slackened off the strings, and I went to town on my strings. I went nuts. I think I used um, half of the bottle or so, but anyway, because these were really dirty, and with this thing, this is disgusting. We can't really see, but it's black everywhere. And I slackened off the strings, and I went through each individual string. And I um, went to town on this guitar. And um, there's a couple of before and after shots there in the corner. You know, you'll have to try this yourself. It's actually quite amazing. These frets are unbelievably chrome. The fretboard is really, really rejuvenated. The strings are almost like new. They're not like new, obviously, but they're almost like new. They're nice and shiny. Still got a bit of a yellow tinge to them, but, you know, if you want new strings, put new strings on. But this thing, uh, this here, this product, it was really, really good. This Teflo wax um, works really, really well. Because normally I've got a whole different, different bunch of things that I use to rejuvenate the fretboard, then to polish the frets and then a different type of string cleaner again, and then just another polish for the guitar. But, you know, having one thing, it really, really makes it easy. Um, I'm not going to say it was quick. I mean, normally it would be quick if, you don't, if you're not like me and you're lazy and you leave strings on there for way too long. But, you know, if you change your strings once a month and you're out gigging, uh, it's a good idea to use this just so you've got your strings clean and you don't have to spend money on constantly changing strings all the time. You know, it's um it worked really really well. I'm actually quite shocked with how good the fretboard looks. I'm I'm you know I'm putting having a product that rejuvenates the fretboard is not an easy task. Normally you'd have to clean it with like a lemon oil and then get a proper fretboard conditioner or like um some type of sort of wood sort of furniture oil that's safe for open pore wood. And you'd have to really rub that in there, wait a while, then take it off with this. You just rub it in, rub off the excess, and it, it's done. It works. But the frets are amazing. They're nice and chrome. And the good thing about it is actually bending notes. There's no more of that grinding sort of sound when I'm bending notes. It's, it's all smooth, really, really easy to bend notes. And, um, yeah, so, guys, check it out. Um, I think it's fantastic. Chrome frets. You know, really easy way to clean your strings, give them a lot of life. And, um, yeah, just keep your fretboard in good condition. So, guys, thanks again for checking this out, and I'll catch you next time.